the reason that they do not want the flag, the reason we do not want the flag that way, mm -hmm. is due to its origins with the uh, slavery and slavery. Wrong. Yeah, it has nothing to do with slavery. Let's go on to this story. Uh, it's everywhere right now. This 12-year-old Colorado Springs student. Uh, the Gadsden flag. And again, the Gadsden flag. If I miss, it's really hard to say. Gadsden, Gadsden flag. But I'll sometimes say Gadsden, sometimes I'll say Gadsden, but I know it's Gadsden flag. You can admonish me in advance. It's a tough one for me. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> now. Otherwise like known as... Pro otherwise pronounced America. <laughs> yes. Right. And uh, Gerald actually is going to be giving us a brief history lesson here today. What, you guys are passing notes like it's... Don't are you okay? Don't, 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 it's my, You're always it's my passing notes. the notes, I'm Gerald. Not You're always the passing class. the notes. I'm checking no, just okay. so you know. 12-year-old mm. Colorado Springs student. Okay. He was removed from class for displaying... He had this flag, yeah. right, on his backpack. Now, you've heard the story, but the reason that he was removed from class, because some of you, again, maybe too close, right? Maybe, maybe too close to the forest, that whole thing. They go, well, huh, he just, because he had the flag, it's just because she's a liberal? No, no, it's not because the teacher's a liberal, though that too. Yeah. It's because <laughs> the left now wants you to believe that this flag, and it's completely incorrect, we'll get into the history, represents slavery. Do they know what the Gadsden flag is? That it's a historical flag? Just pass me a note. So there, um, the reason that they do not want the flag, the reason we do not want the flag that way, mm -hmm. is due to its origins with slavery and... Wrong. What's your origin story? Dad never hugged you enough? <laughs> yes. See the kid looking like, what? The Gadsden flag. The don't tread on me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> She's a real expert on origin stories. Yeah. She's a big X-Men fan. Real, real educated for an educator. She yeah. was part of the weapons bitch program. Now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, worse. <laughs> Okay, so the assistant principal, let me make sure I get this right, uh, Beth Danjuma. Oh my gosh, I'm glad that Nick DiPaolo is no, not know, here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm refraining. Uh, the, the assistant principal, obviously, well, the mom, let me, let me be clear. A hero here is the mom. Right. Didn't yes. let this assistant principal off the hook. And this is what you need to do. We talk about fighting like hell, right? When you send us your, your, your comments in your chat, we've talked about it this week. Yep. You need to make your voices heard for the same reason that we're now allowed to discuss election interference on YouTube. Because we did it nonstop, and at a certain point, they can't ban us all. YouTube said there are so many people who have questions about the elections. We're not talking about Amy Klobuchar, Hillary Clinton, or Jimmy Carter. Uh, but we can't just remove all conservatives. They cannot ban all of you from PTA meetings. They cannot ban right. all of you from the public school district. This mom didn't let her off the hook. Hats off to her. Yeah, it has nothing to do with slavery. That's like the Revolutionary <laughs> War patch that was okay. enslaved when they were fighting the British. Like, okay, that was, okay. That's the okay. revolution. Maybe you're thinking of like the um, the Confederate pet, or Confederate flag. <laughs> okay, I so <laughs> I am just history here to enforce. Yeah, no, I am here to enforce the policy that was provided okay. by the district, okay. mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. definitely you have every right to not agree with it. Yeah, and I mean we teach him to always stick up for your beliefs, and I mean you're going over the revolution this for seventh grade. I mean, the founding fathers stood up for what they believed in. Can't say Father Patriarchy. Laws. Oops. This is unjust. <laughs> okay. I, like I said, we are upholding a policy that was provided by the district. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we have to uphold. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've never seen that uh, with every villain lackey in a film. I was just doing my job. Just following orders. So am I. <laughs> Figuratively. <laughs> what a pile of It's true, shit. though. It's true. Figuratively. Figuratively. Brian. Figuratively. Yes. That's why I did the hand. I know. I saw it. By the way, I saw it's double barrel though. Got thick fingers. More of a oh. derringer. I would say. Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Fine. Big palms. These this guys. Is, Small so, fingers, big palms. Yes, true. <laughs> we call exactly. we call them long palms. Yes, we do. I hate you, Brian. <laughs> sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. It's just that he needs a big handle for his gun. Keep going. I absolutely love you. No, this I love is, you. So look, parents, when we talked about this yesterday, I think behind uh, uh, Mug Club, right? So we were talking about Mug Club saying, hey, if you have any tips on this, you have to go do the work first, though. This is yes. what you should do. This is the exact thing that we want to see. Yes. So if you have something like this, LWC tips at Proton Mail. See if yep. you can bring that up, guys. LWC go, tips at protonmail.com. Think about the, disti the uh, distillery that did the, uh, yeah. I think, Roanoke, the drag show. You may not know this. Absolutely. Shut down. 
shut down. It's a local, it's a local story, but hey, there, there was enough going on there that they're done. They're not doing drag shows anymore. You can make a difference, and right. we want to help you. We will go to jail to protect our sources if you want anonymity. Exactly, but this is what you have to do. You have to go and start the fight. Yes. Right? yes. You have to go and stand up for yourself. If you send us a video or an email or something after that, and you've been stonewalled, we will absolutely jump in that fight with you, but we want to make sure that we are training people who are going out and fighting, not people who are depending on others to fight for them. That's what most people do with the federal government. We don't want that. Right. You have to fight for yourself. So oh, educating too. yourself as well. That that yes. snake in the, the Don't Tread on Me has 13 rattles for 13 colonies. Yep. And a, a, just a very simple Google search would have shown that district yes. and that teacher well, that yeah. had nothing to do with slavery. And I'll tell you something else. I wasn't going to get a full back tattoo, but now I have to. Do you? Yeah. Okay, and it's going to be the Gadsden flag. Okay. Yeah, Gadsden. I was going to Gadsden. Darn it. Yeah, I know. I was going to Gads. Darn it. I was going to get your back tattooed to my back, but I don't have the room. Yeah, I know. It'd be Can't like a, it'd be like a gay mad fold in. You know what? That's just not. That's uncalled for. It's I think it's entirely on. called for. By the way, I hate both of you. Now the patches. <laughs> That's fair. Were reviewed, okay, just to be clear, by the school district uh, and uh, the charter school uh, vanguard. Ooh, yeah. not a great, not, not a great, not, name. not a yeah. foreboding. Uh, yeah, oof. but they have a sister school in uh, Tokyo. Uh, it's Black Rock High. Now, <laughs> <laughs> the charter school is told to have the parents remove it, and the the assistant principal also told the Colorado Springs Gazette, Vanguard has zero tolerance on racial issues and takes these concerns very seriously. Oh my gosh. Like my straight bangs. There's a lot of different circumstances that our code of conduct handles nicely. When then we decide upon a consequence, we always, always try to make our consequence a learning experience beneficial for the students, which makes you wonder what the school's reaction was when they first laid eyes on the flag to create such a policy. Children were screaming. There was a Gadsden flag. The children were screaming. Name that film line. I've seen that three times and it's still hilarious. I have a question for you. Do you think the teacher has a point? Uh, Do you think the flag is actually associated with slavery? This is. You know what's more damaging than a lie? It's a half truth. Stupidity. No, a half truth. I know. Let me stick that landing there. A half truth is the most damaging thing that actually exists, as far as the press out there. It, well, well, it's associated. With, in this case, it's largely a lie, but they, I can understand some context if they want to say that at one point it was adopted. Okay, fine. It was co opted, sure. But the history of this flag, no, it's not meant in any way to be supportive of slavery. But the half truth is they want to say, well, people who were involved, you know, at that point in time, slaves existed. The half truth is what's so dangerous out there because people feel like they have the information and then they hold that opinion steadfast for the rest of their life despite the fact that they're an absolute moron. This After a brief history lesson, they I said, all right, well, oh, have yeah. Patch. Yeah. Well, that's what it takes sometimes, education. And by the way, the Colorado governor, right? Uh, is it Jer Jared Polis? Yeah. He's a Democrat. Oh, I have it in front of me. I should just look at it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he tweeted support for the flag. He said, the Gadsden flag is a proud symbol of the American Revolution and, uh, is this and iconic. A iconic? Did yep, he write that? An, and an iconic. iconic. Did he say N or A? A. He said A. Gosh, your governor. Come on, Jared. Oof. Man. And Don't iconic you. warning to Britain or any government not to violate the liberties of Americans. It's a great teaching moment for a history lesson. Mm. And in this case, it's a great teaching moment for dumb teachers and principals. Remember I've told you experts are advisors? And this is the challenge with children going into school, right, when they're spending eight, nine, sometimes ten hours a day away from their parents. Uh... They have to submit to the authority of these teachers. You want your children to respect authority to some degree, of course, but you want your authority. This is why parental rights are so important to supersede that. Unfortunately, you don't have enough time with them, so your children will believe that they're right. In other words, unless you had a mom like this mom, who's a hero, by the way, mm -hmm. um, the kid would go through life and, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I, I didn't know that this was a slavery flag. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll take the punishment and I'll move on. If I didn't have my dad go into school where they said we have a zero tolerance policy, he said, well, hold, hold on a second. My son was being punched in the face and so he punched back. They say, well, we have a zero tolerance policy. He said, okay, son, that's stupid. Are we done here? <laughs> Let's go get yeah. ice cream. <laughs> if I didn't have a dad and a mom yeah. like that, I yeah. would have said, oh, zero tolerance, all violence is equivalent. Thank you, principal. I appreciate it. This is why you need to be involved. Uh, you need to be involved in your children's lives. And it's okay. Ed
educate the educators. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, it's also, by the way, you were using the expression half-truth. Things like this are actually anti-truths. And what I mean by anti-truths is that they are trying to erase what's true about history mm -hmm. and and doing it in under because either they're ignorant or they're ideologues. Yeah. And that to me is that that's actually well, more dangerous it, and it, more destructive. It is. But she is unwilling to do any research as exactly. well. And un so this parents, this is what you're facing. Yeah, in, I know. In, you, so you have somebody who comes in and says, hey, that's not what this means. Somebody who's in a school. A I've dealt, I've dealt with it myself. environment yeah. is unwilling to do any research, which is exactly what they're trying to teach kids to do. So right. here's what you can do. If the school came back and said something about that, have him do an effing book report on what the Gadsden flag is and submit it to the school district so that they can be educated on it. Right. All yeah. they had mm -hmm. to do was go, okay, uh, you're saying it means something else. I didn't know that. This person said slavery. I thought slavery because I'm The only idiot. reason... Sorry, I cut you off. You did, but that's okay. Slavery, because I'm I associated it with the Vietnam War. I didn't when know you were little? the whole history of it. No, now, like when we talked about it, I'm like I've seen that flag more with people protesting the government's well, involvement the in Vietnam. POW, right? POW, POW flag. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. So that I didn't even think slavery when it came up. So I was like, all you have to do is look online and go, oh, we have a Gadsden flag yeah, lighter I, here but, somewhere. But, in but isn't it a Texas thing on on your dry, on your license plates? Not in Texas. No, no it's not on our South license Carolina? plates. Well, it's I, so now be. Brian uh, can't be bothered uh, yeah. to do research. Uh, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know oh, anything. Hold on. Why do you do an accent? Uh, but because okay, that's, vodka. <laughs> that's my defense mechanism. I become Italian. I don't know nothing. <laughs> uh, what? Because my first language is might, it, it, it might be there might be an option to get one on the Texas license plate. But yeah. I don't think. Okay, there might be an option. Yeah. See, I told you, Steve. But it's not associated typically with our. Look, the only reason. The reason that this woman that. recanted, just to be clear, is because there were enough eyeballs yeah. on it. That's why you yeah. send in your tips. That's why Boom. we highlight these stories. It's more important than the top marginal tax rate. Think about this for a second. They want your child to spend nine hours a day in a place where men and women, male, female, is a figment of their imagination, but the Gadsden flag represents slavery. The only reason this teacher, or uh, sorry, assistant principal, I guess was the one who laid down the law finally, uh, the only reason they changed it was because there was some kind of visibility and accountability. That's what they fear is sunlight. You don't think the teachers have the right to abuse their authority and they do it with, for crying out loud, I had a teacher at my Centennial Regional High School. He demanded that you call him doctor. I called him Mr. May. I won't say his name because he'll probably assume <laughs> Mr. Whatever. Anyone out there from Centennial, I know that you watch. You remember this guy. I didn't call him doctor. By the way, he had a doctorate. He had a, sorry, a PhD in philosophy. And I called oh. him Mr. He made me write a 500 word essay on the sex life of a ping pong ball because he also thought he was a comedian. Guy was a dick. And the guy did that just because he could. Otherwise, I get an after school detention which I wore with pride. I didn't write that shit. Oh. Now, Did this governor... About how the sex ping pong life. ball had a better sex life than the teacher? There's a show in Mexico. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys, not here. Not for this show. This is a family show. Sorry. So this governor, by the way, also later uh, compared the Gadsden flag because he had to appease him, right? It's right, Democrat, right, right. To the LGBTQ plus <laughs> AAIP flag <laughs> saying other kids have LGBT flags on their Hold backpacks. Hold on, what's AAIP? What is that? There's uh, asexual, I don't know what the other A1, then there's intersex and pansexual. Wow. Because in Canada, it's... Too I think it's AIIP. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's all the time. Other kids have LGBT flags on their backpacks. Others have flags of major political parties or flags that support whatever causes they do. And that's part of learning from one another. Now, I understand that. And of course, if the kids want to have an LGBTQ flag, absolutely. Now, when it comes to learning, I would say, uh, you know, the historical context of the Revolutionary War and Benjamin Franklin, and like you said, attempting to turn this nation into a penal colony, along with introducing an invasive species. So there's an ecology lesson there is more <laughs> valuable than chick switch. <laughs> Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.